Aloha, it's day 13 and I'm coming back with my second near-death experience story. And this one was very different. This one actually happened at Burning Man, the first time I ever went to Burning Man in 2000, which was very spontaneous. I had just gotten back from Thailand, spending three months there studying ancient Buddhist temple wisdom, Thai massage, the Buddhist culture, and energy healing. And I'd been back two days, and a friend of mine said, come on, you're going. So I went with absolutely nothing and that was an interesting experience of itself but then I had a friend accidentally quote unquote give me a quadruple dose of LSD when I had never taken any psychedelics whatsoever I actually had been straight edge for a very long time in my teens and 20s and so it was one of those experiences that are is unforgettable I of course lost everyone and I wound up dying, like literally saw myself dying and leave the planet. I was bouncing off into the universe and having my life narrated to me with a voice that sounded something like Morgan Freeman. And it was like, Jen Healy had a good life. And then I walked through every single scene and experience that I had lived so far in kind of rapid speed fashion. And then I was shown that the people that I thought that were living very simply, that I considered simple, were the ones that were actually truly living. And I had been observing life, but not truly experiencing life. And I had such a deep reverence for this opportunity to be here. And I had vowed, I was uh, coming to back into my body, vowing, pushing dirt together into a little pile just asking for another chance to be here and that if I did get an opportunity that I would completely and utterly devote my life to living fully and uh, it was one of those experiences that shook me to my core and that it spent me years integrating to really understand what does it mean to live fully and what does an experience like that, something I had never even come close to understanding or hear anybody talk about, even when I would share what happened for me with friends, they would just be like giggling and seeing colors. And they're like, no, I've never heard anybody die and leave the planet and walk through their lives. And then of course, later on, as I have grown on my own spiritual path, I was shown things like Tibetan Book of the dead and that a movie something similar would happen and then it gave me more reference that sometimes we do get another chance even while we're in the same body and to actually walk through my entire life and see how I was observing life that I really wasn't living life that I felt separate um, that I felt different as I shared in my last video, but the people that were, it was kind of like a Mayan scene where there were people working in fields and working together and really being present with one another. It was so beautiful that any sort of judgment I had about what was uh, successful or what does it really mean to live turned upside down. And I realized that being in nature, being with one another, actually being present with one another and being together was so much more valuable than all the time that I had been spending studying and researching and building things. So I still work every day on being really present with where I'm at, even in Hawaii where it's gorgeous. I was walking the beach yesterday and I had to keep reminding myself, be here, be here fully, be right here. So the mind will pull me out of center. I'll reflect upon the past or project into the future. I usually replay situations that are unresolved or some sort of conflict within my own being. And it's just amazing after, gosh, that was 23 years ago, after having an experience like that, it still takes a tremendous amount of effort and courage to live fully and to show up fully, no matter what the circumstances looks like. So yeah, that was very unusual. I have 
really explored more shamanic experiences since then and I will share my third near-death experience <laughs> coming up soon. I'm just kind of scattering these about and sprinkling them amongst the topics as it feels relevant and relates to the different teachings that I have learned but I'm also sharing some of those spiritual practices mixed in and it's it's an invitation. What kind of courage does it take to show up fully and to let ourselves be seen to engage with whatever is available and happening in our environment it is such a precious gift to live this life and so i do cherish it and value it greatly and i do notice my tendency to kind of live up in my mind i had overdeveloped my intellect and my mental capacity especially the way the academic world is designed we're often encouraged to use a lot of our mental power but we also have these multiple layers of ourself that want equal attention our emotional body our physical body even our spiritual body you know like sitting in meditation every day is one of my daily practices and I'm going to go into the life of Jen Healy and what that experience is like but yeah really taking the time to get centered to stay present and focused is huge big work and I really honor this opportunity to share it with you it is such a gift to dedicate myself to this practice and show up every day and just see what wants to come through and for me the the courage and the fear that I overcome in that situation is being with people so that feeling of being separate is the fear of being seen and we all want the same things we all want to be seen and heard and felt and understood and i was sitting back and like a fly on the wall observing everyone and really more moving from a place of critical thinking uh judgment than really seeing the beauty and the gift of living simply which is why I changed my life dramatically. I still love creating and using my mental faculties, but I really do drop into more of my beingness on a daily basis, as well as integrate my being into all that I'm doing. So that's the near-death experience number two. Died and left the planet, walked through my life, was shown where I could really fully live and start living fully now and then choosing, strongly choosing that and give, being given another chance and wel being welcomed back onto the earth and how differently I see people and how differently I interact with people based on that experience. So I hope that you have a good takeaway where you don't have to actually <laughs> go through that personally, but it is not really, this is an experiential world. We're here to live it. We're here to experience it and to take action on it. It's not enough to just philosophize or theorize or ponder these things. So what can you do today? I welcome that in the challenge. What can you do today to live fully? I'm going to really uh, allow myself and encourage myself. I love how courage is in the word encourage. I'm gonna encourage myself to be available to be seen, to be heard, and to do those scary things every day, doing something that just has that little bit of tinge of fear or maybe a lot, and uh, grow ourselves, stretch ourselves to live our absolute best life. I will be back tomorrow with another video and I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your comments. Somebody had asked me, what is it like to live in the day of Jen Healy and what my daily practices are? So I'm going to record that next for you and I look forward to it. Thank you. Aloha.